We're going to talk about the surprising Catholic roots of Mardi Gras today on Made for Glory. From ancient times, Christians have observe the days leading up to Easter in a time called Lent. And usually Lent is 40 days long, uh, patterned after Jesus' 40 days of fasting and prayer in the, in the desert before he began his public ministry. So one of the things, uh, because that Lent is a time of fasting, it's a time where you set aside meat and, and maybe some of those, uh, those products that we really like to eat, like chocolate or other sorts of sweets or savory food. So what would happen is leading up to, to Lent, the days before Lent, they would uh, cook and get rid of all of their meat products. So actually what what came to be known as Fat Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the Lenten season, is where we get the word Mardi Gras, which is French for Fat Tuesday. And it's also where we get the word carnival, which is uh, kind of a play on the words of Italian of farewell to meat. So that day of celebration, that day of exuberance and joy and eating good food and listening to music, um, though oftentimes in today's world it devolves into debauchery, what it's supposed to be really is a celebration of the good things in life as we prepare for the very important Lenten journey, that time of sacrifice, that time of introspection and prayer where we take time in silence, in, in uh, meditating on the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, his love for us that is preceded with that celebration. So the, the sinful aspects of Mardi Gras are not something that we want to exalt because I think uh, those are problematic for their own reasons. It is important for us to uh, look at Mardi Gras as, as, as a distinctly Catholic and Christian event that helps us to prepare our minds and hearts and even our homes for what's coming during the Lenten season. So this year, you have an opportunity to, to celebrate Mardi Gras, um, to celebrate Fat Tuesday, but more importantly, to let that be a precursor that helps you to step into that time of walking with Jesus, of fasting with Jesus, of praying more with Jesus, of giving alms to help support the poor, um, so that your heart and mind can be prepared as we journey through the Lenten season to encounter our Lord Jesus Christ in his passion, his death, and in the joy of Easter at his resurrection. Hey guys, if you're looking for a great way to grow in your faith during this Lenten season, we here at Made for Glory are here to help. We have a uh, really exciting video series that's coming out. And even if you do give up social media for Lent, you can still receive this content by signing up for our mailing list. So throughout the Lenten season, we'll be giving reflections on the Sunday readings. We'll be talking about Lenten practices like prayer and fasting and almsgiving, how we can uh, follow Jesus by focusing on the seven last words of Jesus from the cross and really helping us to prepare our hearts for the great celebration at Easter. So please make sure you sign up and join us for Lent.